I am Fernando Henrique Cardoso, former president of Brazil twice and member of the elders. Today for me is a wonderful day because the elders are meeting in Rio. My fellow elders and I are in constant communication throughout the year and twice a year we come together to talk in greater detail about our initiatives and plan our future work. Our last meeting was in the Netherlands. Jim Carter, Barry Robinson, Gro Brutland, and March Altasari had just come back from the Korean Peninsula. There are two areas where we are trying to make a difference in relation to North and South Korea. The first is the chronic food shortage. Our second aim is to encourage dialogue between the two sides. Chairman and General Secretary Kim Jong-il sent word that he is willing to negotiate on any subject at any time and without any preconditions. Having been involved in so many conflicts in my lifetime, I felt very good and I said this is perhaps the way, as an example, what the elders at our best can do. We have a very good discussion with the President yesterday because we raised difficult questions about human rights. The dialogue was very fluent, very good dialogue. There are so many questions, so many issues in terms of inequities or crisis that we are all time discussing among ourselves. What can we do in order to make a difference? That's the main question for the elders. Mary, Gro, Grasse and Arch have been doing amazing work on child marriage. Child marriage is a very important issue for the elders because we wanted to tackle the inequality and to support the empowerment of girls and women. And we recognized that this is an issue that affects 10 million girls a year. So how old was she when she had the first child? We've been able to galvanize a global campaign, Girls Not Brides, to support those who work on this issue, bring them together to tackle this from a bottom-up, um, internal way. And that's the only way that change occurs. It's from within. The elders want to engage with the youth. And we have a meeting with Brazilians, youth Brazilians, to discuss with them different aspects of our agenda. Environment, tragedies, how to improve equality, we believe that you are a fantastic bunch of young people, that you believe this world can become a better place. A lot of people here in Brazil don't want to hear our voice. And the elders told us, you will do it, you, we can do it, and I have more hope now than in the beginning of the meeting. I think the original vision by Nelson Mandela ought to be a constant consideration for us as we make our own plans. This is a special group of people who are not restrained and we can speak and act with relative independence compared to almost any other leaders on earth. I think that the Rio meeting was a wonderful meeting. One of the best since the elders start. We have formed plans for the next few months, areas to visit and strategies to have a maximum impact on child marriage, the Middle East peace process and career. Don't forget to take a look at our new website and sign up to be part of the Global Village.